The Democrats scored a victory when House Republicans accepted the two-month extension to keep a tax cut for 160 million Americans. But that compromise was just the first step for Congress looking ahead to a heavy lift in 2012. The question remains, will Tea Party Republicans come back next year humbled or ready to fight the battle all over again? Joining me this morning to talk about it, Republican Congressman Jeffrey Landry of Louisiana, a member of the Tea Party Caucus as well. Congressman, thanks for being here today. Good morning, Craig. Let's start right with the blame that's been placed at the Tea Party's feet. Politico calling Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid the Tea Party Slayer. Do you think it's fair to, to, to point fingers toward your caucus uh, for the Christmas week standoff at this point? No, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, look, at the end of the day, this was uh, bad policy and good politics, and that's what's gotten us in this country and the condition it's in. I, you know, the fact, what I can't understand is where Harry Reid and President Obama uh, got their wires crossed because the president wanted a one-year extension of the payroll tax. Uh, that's all he championed. It was part of his jobs bill. And then what we get back from the Senate is a two-month extension. So where those two missed each other uh, is, is the mystery to me. You were quoted in the Wall Street Journal as saying you don't blame Speaker Boehner for the outcome of the payroll tax extension, saying, quote, Mr. Boehner has a tough job. Uh, do you think that's the consensus among Tea Party conservatives, or do you think uh, that the Speaker has a pretty tough road ahead? Well, look, it is. It's a, it's a tough position to be in. It's a tough job to have. Uh, we certainly are disappointed. I'm disappointed that we didn't get an opportunity uh, to flesh this out back in Washington. We were told we would have a 24-hour a uh, window of opportunity before any, any action was taken. Uh, that evidently uh, was decided by the Speaker not to give us that 24-hour period uh, for whatever reason uh, he felt it was necessary. Of course, those are questions that he'll have to answer when we get back in January, you know, but at, at the end of the day, here we are. Sure. Congressman, has the Tea Party Caucus been overall pleased with the performance of the Speaker of the House? Well, I mean, I think the Tea Party Caucus as a whole has been disappointed in Congress as a whole, both in the Senate and the House. You know, there were times when, when we were ready to fight and we were fighting on behalf of the American people, not on behalf of the Tea Party, not on behalf of the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. I mean, we want solutions uh, to these not short-term gimmicks that, again, just make for good politics. Congressman uh, Jeffrey Landry. Congressman, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you.